Hi guys, how's it going? It's Dang and welcome to a plant haul. I know I haven't done one since like June. Um, I also need to do a plant tour because we got I got a lot of new plants. My, my mom and I have a lot of new plants. But anyways, let me show you what we got for uh, October's pre-orders. Uh, there's like two packages missing still, but we're gonna it's gonna come at the end of the video. Anyways, let me show you because there's a lot of stuff. Got some beautiful things going on right here. I'm still waiting for one more package. Uh, but this is what I got for August. I know we're in September right now. Like I said, I'm kind of late. I lost my mojo with the June order, but you know, Stella's getting her groove back with uh, August's order. Everything's amazing so far. So let's run down what we got. So this is uh, one of the newer Sensivarius that I've, I bought, I got from uh, one of the newest sellers. This is an Uganda silver. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is, hold on, which one am I gonna give? This is, this is a Messiano green. So you got yellow and you got white and this is green. So green is the highest tier that they have for Messiano, uh, for Sensivarius. I got a bunch right there, right? Uh, this is a, what is this? This is a, uh, Crassula camella or Bar Barclia cluster. It's a huge cluster like that. It's not a tiny cluster. Uh, this is a Haworthia entueta or whatever. Varagata. Uh, Ritetsa giant. We've already seen that. This is a um, Agave rum runner, Varagata. And when you get them, they're like this, which is pretty normal. I asked my seller and he said he's he said that it is actually very, very normal for you to get agaves like this like the bottom so don't worry as long as the plant doesn't die put into the water and they'll survive you got a, quite a few of them right here actually sorry quite a few of them i managed to scour all enough for all the buyers which is absolutely gorgeous right absolutely gorgeous so yeah like i said this is this is normal that's normal uh unfortunately all the black black prints is dead because it's it's just not it's not good so i'm not i'm never bringing them in again uh, probably for like my own stuff. Uh, Mirene Vergara, very beautiful. Some Bronzias right there. Conophyvum Blibum. Uh, and this is how they come in as they come in dry like this. That's how I receive them too. And they already have roots, so you just gotta root them and then they'll be fine. Uh, these cool cacti thingies. I forgot what they're called, Rushala or something. Right, and these ones as well. Venestera, whatever. They're very small. Mom's home. This is a Haworthia of something, I don't know. Um, this is a Echeveri Fury Fire. When I bought it, it was more expensive and more tinier. Look how big it is, like within a year's time, that's how much they sell them for. Um, Aloe something. It spirals, it's really cool. I like those ones. Aeonium. I call them tiger stripe, whatever. Uh, pink butterflies are here. Uh, Euphobia mondomidium richium, whatever, variegata, the dick plant, very beautiful. Euphobia valida. And then I got Euphobia dracura, whatever. They look like they're dead, but they're not. They're really cool, I really like them. I think I might get one for myself. Ooh. Sensevaria Bonsell Vergata, the starfish one. Look how beautiful this is. That is absolutely gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. I got a Sensevaria Tsunami right here. Twister Sister Tsunami. Uh, Sensevaria Blue Silver, the bigger one. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm, mm. Uh, Sensevaria, the walking Sensevaria. Look at that. It's already grown. It's huge too, right? And then I got a bunch of Haworthia that I don't know the name to it because there's quite a lot of Haworthias. Uh, Haworthia Rindella, Rheinwald, I think. Haworthia Rheinwald right here, right? Um, agave something. And this is a different version of that agave. So one is more white, one's more green. The variegation's more green. Yeah, um, hold on. Ow, 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 that hurts, that hurts. Uh, Haworthia 
uh, what's it called? Haworthia fasciata hybrid variegata. Same things as over here as well. Uh, Haworthia limifolia hybrid variegata. Gorgeous little thing, right? Haworthia limifolia variegata, no, high X fasciata variegata. There's, there's so many of these things, right? Haworthia limifolia, the spinny one. You see how it spins? It spins really cool. I have one outside, it's very big. Uh, Haworthia magnifica. Magnifica variegata. Uh, Rutetsa variegata, right here. Beautiful. I forgot what this is called. This is a very expensive Haworthia. Haworthia something, something, something. But it is gorgeous. And then um, Haworthia fasciata, fasciata variegata white. White ones right here. And then these Haworthia, they're very big. I don't remember what these are called, I'm sorry. All right. They're very, very big. They're variegated ones too. And then you got a bunch of whale fins, which I get them like randomly. And even though I tell him like, I need them like similarly, he just gives me random stuff. That's, this is so, this is the green one. And you, sorry, this is the yellow one. You can tell how it's like, there's yellow in the middle. Uh, but that, the yellow only stays like per, like very predominantly if there's a lot of sunlight. If there's less sunlight, it turns greenish. No one believes me though. And my mom's looking. Look, what are you doing here? What, hold on. <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? Okay, woman. And then you have like, sorry, white whale fins right here. They turn like uh, greenish as well. Like they're, they're pale yellow. They're not pure white unless there's like a lot of sunlight, but no one ever believes me. So these ones will cost a lot more. This one will cost a lot more versus like something like this because this is more variegated, right? So there's there's price differences and I think this one is like dead, damaged. Yeah, this one's damaged, so oh, that's sad. I gotta cancel somebody's order. Oh well, I gotta cancel somebody's order. That's fine, okay. Uh, this one is a Sensevieria Pagoda Striata. Beautiful. Sensevieria Green Rose. Look how beautiful that is. This is a honey, I think. A honey, yeah, a honey. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then you got some katanas underneath. Sensevieria Katana. Kata oh, God, where am I going? Like Katana, sorry. Katana. Then uh, you got some Sensevieria uh, Francisi Variegata, the yellow ones. I have a, I actually have a, uh, a white one. Oh no! Uh, sorry about that. Okay, now we, we're moving on to Gasteria. So this is a Gasteria Bassiana Black Variegata. Variegata Black. Absolutely gorgeous, how nice that is. Uh, this is a Gasteria Silver Ice. It's huge, right? This is a normal Gasteria Bassiella, Bassiana. So those, these are two are the same, well, kind of the same, but this is like normal variegation, and this is black variegation, which means it's more darker. Uh, this is a silver variegation of like these ones. So these are all the same, silver, black and regular one. I don't know remember what these are called. These are just regular ones. This is a the bicolor. Look how beautiful that is. Gasteria bicolor. Right. Um Gasteria squash squash whatever. Squash golf. Squash wala wa. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Uh Gasteria something. They're all different. They're absolutely gorgeous. Gasteria, I don't remember. Oh, Nicren, Nicren uh, Variegata. Oh, this is a Gasteria Nicren, uh, I think yellow Variegata. Beautiful, right? Yeah. And then you get the rest of other stuff right here. I got uh, Sensevieria Kirky Brown, Copper Tone. Got some Sensevieria Cleopatra. Sensevieria Golden Wendy. Sensevieria something 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 they're they grow pretty tall and sensevieria uh parva lancet white form 
so okay so this is like uh my little hidden garden stuff that i don't put on top because they don't need that much light but continue on with the unboxing because i have some of these here um this is the sensevere parset lancet parva lancet yellow form uh at ten dollars more and you get this gigantic one versus like the other one where it's like 30 bucks is like a tiny one that is nice and huge they say uh you got more gasteria this is the tiger stripe one so that one uh my aloe i think dream or dust storm is right there so cute is very beautiful uh my Ga aloe sorry gasteria silver ice this is my band sienna this is a Hawarthi that i posted on instagram and facebook I'm like give me a name i think i'm gonna call it oreo cupcakes uh, this is another Hawarthi. Look how beautiful that is, right? I'm not really into window Hawarthi because I don't understand, but I like the texture of certain ones of these. Like, I like these textures, you know? Not the window ones, but anyways. This is an aloe, uh, aloe Christmas sleigh or sleigh, girl. Because we slaying. We slay. Uh, what else do I have to show you? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a Hawarthi. I don't remember what it's called, but it's really, really cool. Uh, this is another Hawarthia, a different one, Vergata one. Um, this is a Gasteria Velocula or whatever it's called. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. That's my silver ice right there. Um, ooh, this is a big gigantic Hawarthia, some, uh, sorry, Gasteria something. Gasteria something. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is my Sensevera Camillo. Ka Kim, Kim Ya. Kim Yamalo, Kim, Kim Mayo, Kim Mayo, yeah, Kim Mayo, I think, that's what it's called. Um, this is another Gasteria, so beautiful. Yeah, I'm really into Gasteria, if you can tell. I bought some for myself. This is a Sensevaria Blue Cyclone. So small. This is a Sensevaria known as Patins Vergara or Ed Ed Ebby. Really nice. I paid a lot for this. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. It's like one of my favorite ones. It's nice. Look, look how nice I'm stroking it. Right? It's nice stroking. You can stroke it like that. It's so beautiful. The texture on it is so good. Mm. Uh, this is a uh, Sensevere Silver Plush. It's actually gotten more expensive because it's gotten really popular. So there's like less stock, less, less, uh, stock for, for my seller. So they had to increase the price. But it's gotten really popular because it's very beautiful like that. My mom's coughing like that because she's asthmatic. This is a Sensevaria, uh, whatchamacallit this one, I forgot, uh, ro ro no, Robusta, Robusta Fat. These are Sensevaria Midnight Futon Fountain, yeah. And uh, this is a Sensevaria Hal Trasfiado or Hal Hani Trasfiado Super Bowl. So this is like almost like the silver plush, you see that? Except for this one is more, like you can see more of the green versus this one, it's like very flushed out, right? Uh, this is uh, a Sensevaria ha honey mutation. So versus a normal honey, you can see the, a lot of green, like the, when there's a lot of like um, light, this all turns yellow, it all turns yellow. And that's it for the inboxing. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well I guess we're waiting for like one more thing, but yeah. These are the last one that came in, the last package I was waiting for until I shipped them out. So you got bear paws, which I've already packed a few of them. I had a lot. Uh, baby fingers or baby toes, whatever. Uh, these are Crassula clavata clusters. You got Graptovera tibetans, so many of them. These are the Hawarthias that are gifts to people who, you know, kept purchasing and still purchase after June's horrible pre-orders. And you got like lots of Hawarthias here, which I don't, actually don't really understand. And you got this Hawarthia, you got this one, and you got a this one, you got a, you got another this one, right? And then you got a this one, maybe I think I did like a this one. I'm not sure if you like a this one. Then this one, then these variegated ones right here. Right, you got this uh, this a uh, bigger one right here, you know. Uh, another this uh, one right here. Another this uh, one right here. These are uh, these are uh, one right here too, right? And you got these uh, one right here as well. 
and dosa one and dosa one two and that's it that's it for this um unboxing showcase i guess i'll see you in the next one hmm, yeah Okay, so this is what we got so far for October's order. I'm only using two sellers this time because then it's quick, but there's still some, you know, delays going on. Um, this is all the toilet paper that gets reused, you know, uh, and I really have to do a plant tour because my mom, I bought my mom some orchids. She loves orchids. Um, so let's start, I guess, over here. Um, these are the something 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 they're very prickly but the flowers are very beautiful uh they're not grafted so my seller's been selling uh, he's been having them like this and they've been fine so those are ordered these are new i think i'm gonna keep having them every um every order because they look really really nice look here's my feet ah oh, you like my feet no don't do that uh these are the misiona Vergata. They are the white versions. Uh, white isn't actually white, just that, you know, they are pale yellow. That's what variegation are. They're not truly white. Truly white means that they're very devoid of, like, um, of all pigments, which is actually really bad for the plant. So this is one of the beautiful ones right here. Uh, the more white it is, of course, the more, well, the more variegation is, the more cost expensive. You can see, like, you can see how the variegation is. You can see underneath it right there versus, like, there's pigment. Right. It's very, very beautiful. There's one here that's absolutely stunning. Right here. Absolutely stunning. So this is the most expensive one. Absolutely stunning. And then we got some agaves and something here. These are very prickly. I don't like these because they hurt me. These agaves are very prickly as well. I don't like them. But, you know, people like them. Just because you don't like them doesn't mean that you shouldn't have them. It's just people will like them and people will grab them. You see that? very beautiful um, this is a gasteria someone bought one of these very absolutely beautiful I have I have one myself um, this is a really, really nice one I think this is a Terra Tarantin gasteria Tarantin I don't know you can correct me on the name of this one because sometimes my seller gives me the wrong name too but whatever I don't really care they look all gorgeous uh, this is an agave uh, something 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 the yellow one, it's huge and ginormous. I was telling my mom, it's like, we can use this as a weapon, you know? You can like smash somebody's head with it. Like, this, this is really, really sharp. Like how beautiful that is, right? I'm put this aside first, so because it's gonna, something. Anyways, this is a uh, Gasteria Vascosa. Vascosa, I think that's what it's called. That's gorgeous. Uh, Hawartha Trucata Lime. Truncada. I'm not really into Hawartha, I don't care. Another type of Hawarthia variegata. Not into Hawarthia. <laughs> uh, this is a Hawarthia limifolia. Limifolia. Hawarthia magnifica variegata. Gorgeous, isn't it? Right? Uh, these are Sensevieria francisi variegata, the yellow variegation. I, I, ha I myself have the white variegation version. Most people don't have it. Uh, this is the huge cluster of Hawarthia something, something, something variegata. It's supposed to be a huge cluster, but it breaks off apart very easily. Very nice. I think I was selling this for like 15 bucks. Cheap, nice. Um, oh, and this is a another Hawar uh, Gasteria Nicrokens, Nicrokens, variegata, the regular one. Gorgeous, so that's that one. Ooh, these are the uh, little sphere aloes. They're really, really cool. I don't know what they're called. And these are um, Echeveria's gibiforias. Um, this is a, what is this called? Barbillion, right here. Echeveria Barbillion, Echeveria uh, Dragonus. Dragonus are very, very pinky ones. This is a new pinky bump. They have so many new hybrids over in Africa that, you know, there's no point in actually calling them names or finding the real names. And you're like, that's not what they're called. I'm going to like, I don't give a fuck. I don't really care. And these are uh, Echeveria Sea Dragons. Really nice. Uh, these are Echeveria Valentines. All right. 
And then you have the uh, bulb stuff. Don't know what those are called, they're very tiny. Uh, these are Ax Oxalis Performus, right there. Um, Stephania Erecta. <laughs> erecta. <laughs> I got an Erecta. <laughs> I don't know what these are called, but they smell really badly, apparently. Th that's a picture of it. Uh, these, this one's cool, too. Right. Uh, this, that is my sense of uh, arborescence that, um, well, he sent me because mine, one of them brought it to death. So, brand new one for me. Uh, that is a sense of air silver blue, right here. Sense of air quirky brown. Tons of Hawarthia Rotetsu Variegata. He just sends it to me. He's like, here you go, have some. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Uh, this is a Dewan's Gold, another Dewan's Gold, somebody bought. Beautiful, and these are the Echeveria for one of my buyers, who unfortunately, you know, has cancer. And, you know, I was like, he's a new buyer of mine and he buys a lot of stuff. And I'm like, well, you don't have that much time to live. What do you want? It's like, I want all of these ones. I'm like, okay, well you get, here you go. Here's all these Echeveria's bumpy ones. Uh, there's the Cobra, there's um, Midway. Uh, there's so many of them. It's just all here for him. I don't, I don't, Bonton, Varugas, um, Ocean, Oceana, um, a, 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 a lots of new other hybrids. That's all for him. There's, there's tons of them there. Um, and he's like, here you go. Well, there you go. Okay, anyways, this is a Golden Wendy. Hey, Golden Wendy's. Uh, these are the Bonsell Variegata. So these are variegated Bonsells. Sensivarius. Uh, this is a Parsa Lancet White. So there is a white, a yellow, and a full. I'll show you the full ones soon. Tsunamis, the smaller ones, right? Uh, these are the Sensivere Streakers. So they've been dehydrated, which means that it might take some time for it to actually like fully lip up, but it will. Uh, Cleopatra's, right? We already know about the Cleopatra. This is the new Pagoda Hybrid. Very, very cute, tiny ones. Uh, these are the uh, Silver Plush. Absolutely gorgeous. And actually, that's over here, so I'm gonna do it over here. So that's that tray. That's like the Sensivaria tray. And then you got the uh, Euphobia Sensivaria tray as well. This is the, this is the, what is this? Uh, Sensivaria Patens Variegata, very beautiful. Uh, Pyotes, ooh, I got some Pyotes. <laughs> Not for me though. Uh, one of those Euphobia. It's nice. Um, let's see. Oh, Euphobia Dracari or something. Dracari. Euphobia Francisi uh, Variegata ones. These ones are absolutely gorgeous, right? Uh, Sense of Vera Green Rose, right? And then, so these are replacement stuff because usually the Echeverias don't come in very nicely because um, sometimes there's like mold and rot that comes along with it. So he always just sends them to me just because like they just end up dying. So these are the Silver Prints the Black Princess, right? Um, this is the Sensivere Parva Lancet Full Variegation one. Full Variegation. Uh, this is the Sensivere uh, Gold Banner Mutation. Absolutely gorgeous, really nice that one. Um, let's see, oh this is one of mine. Uh, Gasteria something something Variegata, really nice. Um, yeah, and then Sinicios. Lots of Sinicios, Strings of Pearls, Variegata. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now for the shipment. There's like two more boxes. When they get it in, I'll show you the rest. Yeah.